So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome to my channel. Today is a very special day for us Filipinos because Manny Pacquiao has just again won another fight. And because of that, I got so inspired to paint nobody else but the man of the hour himself, Manny Pacquiao. Years ago, I've already painted Manny Pacquiao but in a much smaller paper. Here it is. And I think it's another exercise today to paint him in a much bigger paper. It's a 9 by 12 And I've chosen to make a monochromatic painting. And I'm going to be showing the process in 3, 2, 1. But wait, let me just again remind you to join our Daniel Smith watercolor giveaway which I posted two weeks ago. So please check the mechanics in my older videos. You still have until August 10 to submit your paintings. So, okay, here's our demo. And for my portrait painting practice, I use uh, the Stratmore uh, Visual Journal. It has 90 pounds watercolor paper and the size of this one is 9 by 12. I got this in Jovir two or three years ago but I've only started last year and here are some of my paintings um, I did not I wasn't able to uh, record or video my process on this until I painted uh, Jesus Christ which I uploaded months ago so I hope you can also check it and for our painting today I have already prepared a sketch with a grid using grid of um, Manny Pacquiao and this is inspired by his win of course today and for a reference I use a grid a gridded uh, image of him I found on the internet and I used um, sketch grid it's a free application that I downloaded from the App Store so you can also uh, try using this and if you happen to want or to focus on just one um, square or tile you can just tap that particular uh, square and it will be zooming in for a closer look so let's begin for this particular painting I've decided to use just one color so this is a monoch monochromatic painting I chose a Sennelier lamp black so this is single pigment light fast color and I have already um, prepared my mixes earlier. So just a reminder before coloring your sketches, please don't forget to of course erase or at least lighten the grids and the outlines of your sketches because it will be difficult for you to remove the pencil lines and the sketches once you have already started watercoloring. So the painting process will take at least 2 hours, so I will be speeding this up to up to 20 times at least to cut the video shorter. And um, whenever there's an uh, important portion that I need to discuss, I will be uh, bringing it back to the normal speed. And if you have further questions, please don't hesitate to comment it down. Just ask me anything. So I think we're ready to start. So after um, putting the first layer of the skin, I am now focusing on the eyes and um, I'm using still very light wash so as if I encounter any errors or mistake, I can easily just uh, lift the colors up. Anyway, I'm using lamp black and it's quite um, liftable. But as much as possible, I'm trying not to commit any uh, huge mistakes because it's better to keep your painting untouched of lifting. Thank you. 
So now we are done at the first layers in our skin and our eyes. So I hope we won't be messing up in the entire face and in the air and in the body. So let's proceed. So now we are on some of our finishing touches like some eyebrows and facial hair and afterwards I'm gonna be um, putting some more uh, mask tone of uh, uh, our color. Um, So now I'm gonna be putting more paints or a mask tone for the background to further bring um, our subject out. And to bring back the the shape of the hair of the or the head, I'll be using titanium white to put some hair strands or highlights. And I'm gonna be using a fine brush for that. So here's how we do. We're just gonna be putting some. Um, super fine random lines as you can see I was not able to discuss um, part by part because I am actually in a hurry to finish it because 
I actually finished watching the fight first before I started, so I started around 3 p.m. already, and it's already uh, almost 6 p.m. now. So if you have questions um, regarding how I made a certain part, you can just uh, comment and ask me, and I will be answering answering you right away if I'm online. As you can see, this is not very uh, detailed. There are some parts that are actually uh, very uh, washy looking. I think uh, the cheekbone is a little bit... Let's make him look a little bit thinner. So I think we're done. So this is now our finished Pac-Man painting. And again to Senator Manny, thank you for bringing again huge pride to the country. Congratulations, you have again given the world another live spirit of greatness, bravery, and sportsmanship. Mabuhay ka, Manny Pacquiao. And on the other hand, to my co-artists here in the Philippines, I am again reminding everyone to please check out the mechanics for my Daniel Smith uh, watercolor set giveaway. Um, I uploaded the mechanics two weeks ago, so please watch it um, in my videos. You have until again uh, August 10 to submit your entries. I'm looking forward to all your outputs, so please do check the mechanics now and submit your entry. You still have three weeks okay so again thank you for watching and see you next week